Goodwill brings to you the weekly share market update dated the 27th of April, 2024. Talking about the corporate segment, we have Shares of Vodafone Idea jumped 12% on April 23, a day after the company's follow-on public offer concluded with 6.36 times subscription with investors bidding for 8,011.8 crore equity shares. The country's third-largest telecom operator had offered 1,260 crore shares in the RS18,000 crore FPO, the largest such offering in the country as part of a larger strategy to gather 45,000 rupees crore. Vodafone raised 5,400 rupees crore from institutional investors such as Citigroup, Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, GQG Partners and more via the anchor book in the FPO upper price band of 11 rupees. The stock price of Hugh Barsh Colorants India plunged over 10% on BSE on April 23 after its sister company Hugh Barsh GmbH, considered as the second largest pigments player globally, filed for bankruptcy in Germany on April 22. Both the firms are part of the Hubarsh Group. Hubarsh GmbH filed an application today for the opening of regular insolvency proceedings over its assets with the competent insolvency court in Braunschweig and, at the same time, applied for the jurisdiction of the Braunschweig Insolvency Court as the group court for the German subgroup of the Hubarsh Group, Hubarsh Colorants India said in a stock exchange filing. United Brewery shares surged 10% on April 24 after the beer company reported a 20% increase in revenue for the January-March quarter. In India, net revenue grew by 20% organically, driven by volume and positive price mix, the beer company said in its quarter for financial year 2024 update. The company's volumes grew in low teens, with the premium portfolio seeing a volume growth in the low 20s, led by Kingfisher Ultra and Heineken Silver. The company also introduced a new beer, Queen Fisher, on March 8, the International Women's Day. The stock of Chennai Petroleum Corporation jumped over 15% on April 24 after the company reported a 72% sequential surge in profit for the quarter ended March 31 and a dividend of 55 rupees per share, according to an exchange filing. The company's net profit for the fourth quarter of financial year 2024 jumped 71.9% to 627.89 rupees crore from 365.28 rupees crore in the December quarter. However, it was lower than the 1,012.81 rupees crore reported a year ago. Shares of MAS Financial Services zoomed over 5% on April 25 on account of strong earnings report for the quarter ended March 2024. The company's consolidated net profit rose 23.3% on year to 69.4 rupees crore in quarter 4, and revenue from operations grew by 24.1% year on year to 345.8 rupees crore during the same period. MAS Financial's disbursements came in strong at 2,866 rupees crore, while assets under management rose 25.05 year on year to 10,722 rupees crore. Its provision stood at 21.4 for rupees crore, translating into annualized credit costs of 0.9%. Shares of Barat Forge soared over 7% on April 25 after the stock got a double upgrade from Bank of America Securities. The international brokerage now has a buy call on the stock with a raised target price of 1450 rupees per share, implying an 18% upside from the previous closing price. Analysts at Boffet Securities anticipate that the down cycle in the US truck market will be brief, shallow, and is already factored into the price. Despite this market outlook, there hasn't been any noticeable decline in production, and freight indicators have shown signs of stabilization, it said. Talking about the corporate segment, we have. Curlascar pneumatic stock continued to gain for the second day in a row, skyrocketing 18% on April 26 making a fresh all-time high at 1,076.7 rupees after the company's net profit nearly doubled year-on-year year in quarter for financial year 2024. The company's net profit jumped 86.82% to 60.23 rupees crore in the quarter ended March 2024 as against 32.2 for rupees crore in the same period the previous year. Revenue from operations rose 36.26% to 489.96 rupees crore against 359.58 rupees crore in the same period. 
Shares of LNT Technology Services plunged more than 9% on April 25 after the IT firm guided for a 100 basis points BPS fall in its financial year 2025 EBIT margin as it aims to build capabilities to secure future growth. This, along with moderate revenue guidance, triggered the fall even though the company reported positive results for the March quarter. LNT Tech reported a 0.2% growth in net profit at Rs340 crore on slower revenue growth and narrowing of margins. Its revenue grew 5% to Rs2,537.5 crore. Curla Sky Pneumatic Company Limited has moved up by 43.93% this week with a change of 326.20 points. It has traded with a net volume of 7.475 million shares. The share is currently trading at the price level of 1,068.70 against the previous closing price of 742.5. Meanwhile, the share price is trading above its moving average 775.30, which is a good indication for the stock. The stock has made the highest move to 1,090.30 points this week. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 82.39. Tejas Networks Limited has moved up by 29.43% this week with a change of 233.75 points. It has traded with a net volume of 24.478 million shares. The share is currently trading at the price level of 1,027.95 against the previous closing price of 794.2. Meanwhile, the share price is trading above its moving average 807.17, which is a good indication for the stock. The stock has made the highest move to 11.35 points this week. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 71.23. Kaveri Seed Company Limited has moved up by 29.24% this week with a change of 199.05 points. It has traded with a net volume of 3.411 million shares. The share is currently trading at the price level of 879.85 against the previous closing price of 690.8. Meanwhile, the share price is trading above its moving average 720.60, which is a good indication for the stock. The stock has made the highest move to 888 points this week. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 80.15. Nifty is currently in positive trend. If you are holding long positions then continue to hold with daily closing stop loss of 22,275 fresh short positions can be initiated if Nifty closes below 22,275 levels. Nifty support levels are 22,330, 22,240 and 22,095. Nifty resistance levels are 22,565, 22,710 and 22,800. Bank Nifty is currently in positive trend. If you are holding long positions then continue to hold with daily closing stop loss of 47,793 fresh short positions can be initiated if Bank Nifty closes below 47,793 levels. Bank Nifty support levels are 47,966, 47,732, and 47,375. Bank Nifty resistance levels are 48,558, 48,914, and 49,149. Reach us via phone, WhatsApp, or email using the information listed on the screen. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more financial insights. And, as always, if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, leave them in the comments section below. Until next time, happy investing!